In this video tutorial today, I'm going to show you how you can either renew or create an educational license with Fusion 360. First of all, I'm going to go to the top right hand corner here where you can see an orange icon. From there, I'm going to click on subscribe now. So when you come onto the page, you might notice that it says German and English. Just make sure this is selected to English and you'll have a gray box that might appear. Just make sure you click on the top right hand corner on the X to get rid of this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the top right hand corner where it says menu, then go to downloads and free student versions. For most of you, you might come across a page that looks like this, which will say unlock educational access to Autodesk products. This means that you need to create an account. You could also have a page that is black and it says hi and then your name. This means that, you've already that you already have a Fusion 360 educational license and therefore you need to renew it. Because I already have an educational license, this means that I only have to go to the bottom here where it says sign in. I could also click on the blue tab which says get started and works in a very similar way. If you've already got an educational license and you simply want to renew it, fast forward to the time specified in the video after you have signed in with your username and login details for your Fusion 360 educational license. So after we've signed in, you'll be asked to set up your educational profile. So for this, it's very straightforward. Select the country of your, or your institution, so we're in Germany. Select the educational role, so student, and the institution type. So we are a high school slash secondary. So you also have to select your date of birth. So fill this in and then click on next. So just a couple more steps before we get started. You first of all need to select your institution. So Bavarian International School and click on the third option which says Heimhausen. You then need to collect, click on your area of study. And for this, I would just do product design and manufacturing. Then you need to select your enrollment. Now, this is important. Do not, and I repeat, do not select the date in which you actually enrolled. Select the year, the current year that you are doing this in. So at the moment it's 2020. So I'm going to select August 2020. And then you can add on four years for the day in which you will graduate. So in this case, September 2024. So now it says that your account has been set. So just click on continue. We'll now be taken to the same screen that we saw before. However, one slight difference, the screen turns black and it will now mention hi with your name. This is because we've now gone into what I would like to call the educational portal. And if you scroll down, you will see that where it says Fusion 360, we can then click on Get Started. Then what you'll need to do is just make sure that the details here are correct. And then you will land to a page that says Additional Documentation Needed. Now you have two options here for what types of documentation you want to upload. You can either upload a report, so go on to Manage Back, go to Recent Reports, and then download the most recent report. Or you can upload a photograph of your student ID. In this example, my documentation will be my student ID. So how do we do this? Just simply take a photograph of your student ID with your phone, airdrop it from your phone to your laptop, go down to where it says Downloads and click on the file. Now what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that you rename your file and that you also change the file type. In this case, I had my I had my photograph be a HEIC file. So by right clicking on this and going down to rename, I have the option to change both the name of my document and change this to a JPEG file. So once I've done this, I can click off of it. And now you will see that I can drag the file Onto, the onto this page 
and then scroll down over here to where it says submit. You'll be waiting on an email um, from Autodesk. So after you've done this, make sure to keep a lookout onto your emails. So we now have an email from the Autodesk education community saying to us that we have successfully uploaded and are guaranteed the educational license for Fusion 360. So what I can do is scroll down to the email and click on get products. You might have to be asked to sign in again, so make sure you do this. Now you'll notice that the screen has gone black again, but this time if you read on the bottom, it says that the, that the license is valid until the 18th of November 2021. This is perfect because this means that I have successfully been able to do my educational license. I can now scroll down to where it says Fusion 360, click on get products, and now I can, I can click on access to finish off the process. You will notice that it will start to download in your downloads folder. So go to your downloads folder and go to right click and click on open. You also have to do the, the same thing when this appears. Again, follow the instructions, right click and then open. You'll notice an error message that pops up. And if we decide to click open, we'll then get another error message saying we do not have permission to use the application streamer. So the way to get around this is first of all, force quit your Fusion 360. Then you can open Fusion 360 up again. In this case, I'm gonna use the search bar, click okay. And you will notice that now, whilst this loads, click on yes, sorry, click on yes. And you will notice that whilst this begins to load, as, it, as the way that Fusion 360 does load, you will now notice at the top of your screen, it says Autodesk, Educa or Autodesk Fusion 360 Education License. And also, if you go to the top right hand corner here, you will notice that the orange bar that used to say subscribe now or expired now, no longer exists. This is because we have successfully been able to get the educational license. And on this note, enjoy the educational license for Fusion 360.